my uh, next guest is a very beautiful actress. Uh, she stars in Sex in the City 2, which is in theatres on May the 27th. There's sex in it. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I haven't seen it, but if there is sex in it, I am going to see it. <laughs> I'll make my decision based on this clip. I wasn't going to see that movie, but I'm going to see it now. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Please welcome Alice Eve, everybody. Alice Eve. Alice, take a weight off. How are you, my dear? I'm very well. How are you? I'm all right, actually. I'm a bit concerned about my trousers, more than I was before, but I... Everyone's concerned. I was concerned about your trousers. Why? I, I thought it was something you did, but apparently this is unusual for you to be kind of holding them like this. <laughs> I, I didn't think I was holding them like that. Your, your trousers are holding them like a bra would hold them. Re really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. A bra, isn't it? Yeah, never, hey, come on now, hey! Uh, well, this looks like an interesting film, uh, I guess. I mean, it's Sex in the City. It has, right. it's, it has its, like, it speaks for itself, but... Right. You, you're not really Irish, though, I can tell. No, I'm not Irish. Where are you from? London. Hmm, that's nice. Yeah, I bet you wish you were from London, don't you? I used to live in London. I lived in London. Did from, you? Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. I don't uh, you do a you. good RP. What, like, talking... Like me. Talking like you? Yeah. You yes, do I can talk like you. Oh, bit. darling! Yeah. <laughs> yes, I can. And I'll tell do you why. Again. Because I've been around a lot of young ladies that talk like you. Oh, have you really? Uh, yes, I have. Do you uh, like them? Wearing trousers much like these. So they work? Oh, they work indeed. They're what we call in show business result wear. <laughs> How are you? I like your gold shoes, by the way. I are you very, I very wealthy? I like Iron Man in this outfit. Uh, no, no, you red don't. And, red and... <laughs> well, I'll take that as a compliment. It is. It's a great compliment. Robert Downey Jr. was here last week, and you look nothing like him, I'm I, delighted to I, say. I saw that. It was great. What, with Robert? Yeah. Yeah, do you know him? No, but I watched he's, him. He's a weird guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but that's all right. He's an actor. They're kind of weird. Yeah, they are weird, aren't they? Yes. I'm becoming weird, I think as a result of being an actor. It's a weird making You weren't job. weird before? I was just a girl before. You've never been just a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, does it make you weird being an actor? Why would it make you weird? I mean, you're weird, you do this. It's like when you present something. <laughs> you know, you know, that's like your brand of like funny weird, you know? You're very, very funny. And weird? Yeah. <laughs> With bra-type trousers? I don't know what to say about the trousers. Say nothing. Okay. It'll be our secret. Okay. Well, what, and what, how is your weirdness manifesting itself, then? What's happening? What are you doing? Um, yesterday, I drove to Ontario with my friend. Ontario? To... Ontario. Oh, I so miss Ontario. Ontario. Um, I did. I drove to Ontario to buy an old car. I think, I think that's pretty risky for a girl who doesn't really know about cars. Well, what kind of a car was it? Well, it's got two doors, not four. <laughs> it has... Still feeling pretty safe. Yeah. It has a hard top that you can take off it. Ooh. <laughs> it... What's the make of this car? Mercedes-Benz. Oh, Mercedes. Oh, German. German. Ah, that is weird. Yeah. Um... Don't let's be ghastly to the Germans. Why not? They were ghastly to us. <laughs> Don't let's be, be beastly, beastly to, to the, the Germans. Germans. Yeah, what's that from again? Is it Monty Python? No, no, I think it's from Oh, What a Lovely War, I think. Uh, which was, don't I don't know, Mike will find out using computer power. It's a good song. Yeah. <laughs> um, Have you ever been to Germany? I'm buying this off a, the car off a German person. That doesn't qualify you as having visited the country. <laughs> You met I mean, a German person. I met Doesn't a German mean, I, I mean, I've met Japanese people. I've never been to Japan by osmosis. I feel like I've been to Japan. 
like I've been to Germany. Just I, but he must be very German. If two, he, two German people. Two Germans. In Ontario. Really? That's how it starts? How did they get to Ontario? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> they march. <laughs> the, uh, now listen, tell me, so that means you're now living in LA then? You've given up living I, in London? Well, I haven't. I can't give up on London, but I live between the two. Right. I miss my, my family are in London. Right. What part of London are you, do you live in? Notting, like Labrick Grove, Notting Hill. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. yeah, it is nice. Yeah, I used to live in Islington. Right. That's yeah. not, this is boring for everyone there. So is the rest of the show. <laughs> you must remember, I really don't care. It works. Yes. <laughs> So you live half of the year in London and half of the year here, and you have two cars then? Um, Mercedes. I, I, two, both Mercedes? I'm not remotely rich. I just have an old... It's starting to sound a little bit <laughs> I rich. I know. And these aren't my shoes. I'll have to give them back. To me? Um, yeah. I Why mean, do you have to give them back? You should keep them. I know. What, should we, should we do, what about that? Because you, uh, you do plugs, don't you, for money? Sure. Do you? You, yeah, said, you said in a show you, you were doing this for money. Yeah, I'm kind of a hooker. Right. <laughs> right. So what, what do you need? These. <laughs> Let me take care of this. Who made them for you? No one made them for me. Uh, Christian Laboutin made them, but look at, the, look at the soul. I can see that soul's all bust up there. Yeah. Look you probably don't want those ones back then, Christian. <laughs> They're nice though. I, they yeah, look, look nice on the on the monitor. They don't look let's be be sneaking the Don't they? They sparkle. Yeah, no, they're good. I'm just watching the show. I'm. Uh... <laughs> it's good. It looks good, doesn't it? Oh, yes, it does, young lady. I think I'm in love. Yeah, me too, Jeff. All right, we gotta go. Alice Eve, everybody, we'll be right back. Please welcome the spectacular Alice Eve, everybody, Alice Eve. Lovely. Look at you with your lovely dress. Thank you That's very a very much. nice piece of uh, clothing thank you, you have there. How are you? You good? Very well, thank you. Good. I saw you on the Entourage. I watched that show. Did you? The Entourage? Yes, I watched the Entourage with the, all these lovely... <laughs> the boys. Yes, yes. They're all quite small. Um, you can't comment on that, no. but I've noticed that they are. Yes. Whenever they're all together, I want to just, you know, give them Cuddle a hug. Them. Yeah, yeah, oh, Yeah, lovely. they are lovely. You know, but you're playing someone who's very tough and... I know, I hadn't seen that actually. It's a little... Are you not aware of what you're doing while you're acting? No. That's what makes you so good. You jump, and then you kind of come to the surface. But I hadn't seen it. It's always weird watching yourself. You don't watch yourself on TV? No, I don't like to. Sometimes you have to to correct it and to know what you're doing. And it's no. not nice. Do you like watching yourself? No, I don't watch this crap. No. I, I've got cable. I don't watch this. Ooh la la! I'm kidding. I don't have cable. I, uh... So, uh, you're living here now then? You've made your home in Los Angeles? Yes, I still have... I still have my family in London, but yes, I right. do. I mean, yeah. By your family, you mean, uh, what, four or five children five working children. up chimneys? My two uh, husbands. Two husbands? Yeah. That's... Polygamy, I believe in it, much like Gaddafi. <laughs> Oh, no, it's all right. You can say anything you like about Gaddafi. Yeah. Uh, Where did yeah. he go? I, I don't know. I think he's probably... If I was Condoleezza Rice, though, I'd be checking under the car and stuff and tell... Yeah, that was a weird fact. Yeah, that's a weird that's one, isn't weird. it? That's yeah. weird, yeah, if that's true. Do I you think have he's... any weird stalker fans who are also dictators of uh, African countries? No. Do you have any weird stalker fans? I hope not, no. Anybody ever sent you some anthrax, for example? No, that's heavy. But I hear you snorted it. I did, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. How was that for you? That yeah, wasn't that good. Like the old days? Uh, no, no, I... No, in the old days I had no idea what it was when right. I was snorting it. I knew what it was then. You've never been involved in heavy drug use, have you? Never. Oh dear. I had parents. I had parents too. <laughs> I just didn't invite them to the club, that's all. I did. Oh, you did? Well, Sometimes my mom goes out with me. Yeah. I've met your mom and your dad. Yeah. Yeah, I met them actually back in the day. Because I used to go to this club and they used to uh, come in sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, I no, I um, I used to eat at this restaurant in London, and uh, your mom was a friend of my friend uh, Anthony Head. Oh yes, of course. Right, right, and so I. That's how I. Um, but you must have been like. Ten years old then. Yeah, uh, yeah. They would never bring you to a club at that point. No, oh, not okay. a club, a restaurant. Really? Yeah, I used to I sleep in the restaurant. Really? You yeah. would go to restaurants as a child? Yeah. <laughs> Must be all right for some. But the first time I went, to, first time I went to a restaurant, I was sixteen. Really? Yeah. yeah. McDonald's. <laughs> they were the neighbouring clan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so your family back there, but you've decided to. Uh, move, do you have a dog yet? Is it, no. You no. get a brown uh, lab. That's what. That's Don't, all the celebrities. So you do. you did your German thing again tonight. What German thing? Don't let's be beastly to, to the, Germans, the Germans. Yes, I know we mustn't be beastly to the Germans. No. <laughs> Who was that? It was Noel Coward, wasn't it? It was. And yeah. last time we said it was Monty Python, but it was actually. No, Coward. it was uh, it was Noel Coward. Yeah, well who, who was saying that song? Let's not be beastly to the Germans. Yeah. Noel Coward also said, "Do you know the actor Edward Woodward?" Oh yes, I do. Yeah. He Noel Coward said Edward Woodward's name sounded like a fart in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> Edward Woodward. Edward. Woodward. Yeah. It's a good expression. It was Noel Coward. It's, it's not me. It was Noel Coward. <laughs> Do you do you uh, do you follow the work of Noel Coward, even um, though he's been dead for about 20, 30, maybe 50 years? Um, he was brilliant. He was very good, yeah. But how does one follow the work of Noel Coward? Well, you just go back and look at all his old films, I've and done plays, that, and stuff. Seen you, you've seen the he, plays, yeah. You've yeah. been in any plays, yeah. In any of his plays? Yeah. No. But I have been in some plays, but not his plays. Well, what plays have you been in then? I was in a play called Rock and Roll. I don't like that one. Okay. <laughs> What's that play then, rock and roll? Tom Stoppard play. Oh, he's pretty clever, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, I know, there is that, yeah. Didn't he write Shakespeare in Love? He did. Yeah. And he won an Oscar for it. Oh, he did, yeah, yeah, bastard. <laughs> I met him once, you know, Tom Stoppard. Did you? Yeah. He, he's very tall, isn't he? He is, and it, actually I was walking out of a house, a sort of area, and uh, he was walking in and I held the door open for him and he said, Oh, thanks. Thank you. Because he's, sort of che he's got that Czech accent. I didn't, I wasn't able to tell from one word. No. Yeah, uh, it was just, he said, thanks, and off he went. It right. could have been, he might not even have English as his first language. He doesn't. He really doesn't? No. And yet he writes these plays? Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Have you met Jeff? Was he here last time when you were here? Yeah, but he wasn't as good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, yes, and, yes, and, yes, and. Yes, and, Mama. yeah. What do you mean, Mama? I mean, Mama. Uh, it's very weird, uh, Jeff. Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah, it is very weird, Jeff. I mean, Jeff, uh, you're gay. <laughs> yes, not today, I'm not. Pick and choose like well, I suppose you can yes, actually. Can. Yeah, yeah, you can. It's no, a I free feel country. It is a free country. You're absolutely right. Well done, Alice, for reminding us that it's a free country. <laughs> Would you ever think of uh, joining us here and becoming an American? I have a green card. Well, that doesn't make you an American. Um, it's a complicated one, really. Um, I, I, I love America. Yeah, but that's I, all right. You don't have to. Be, you don't have to. No, but I'm forcing you. You know, we, we've, we, you know, we're almost full up anyway. It's fine. Okay. You're, you're, you're very welcome to stay. You don't have to become an American. Well, that's decided it. Do that again. Okay. All right. I, but I, 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 maybe I will. I, maybe I will. No, you, you don't have to. It's fine. Okay. I mean, you, I mean, you can if you want. Yes. And. Very good. Yeah. Did you ever take an improv class? No, but I know that rule. Well, that's the only rule I know, and apparently... It's the only rule there is, really. Well, yes, Anne? Yeah, don't stop it. Don't stop Don't stop, stop but, but you can stop the flow, and it still works. Okay. No. <laughs> Hence the awkward Hence pause. the awkward pause. The awkward pause. pause, which is the deconstruction of the lame idea that improv can only be done with yes, and. But don't... Which it can always be done with yes, and. It can sometimes be done with just a look or a gesture or a smell my finger. Shall we prove it? Right, I will. Yes, and? No, we're not doing yes, and. Do you want to do the awkward pause now? I mean, it is about time. No, let, right? let's not do the awkward pause. You don't want to do the awkward pause? It's so awkward. Well, what do you want to do then? I want to feel comfortable. 
Yeah, come over here then. <laughs> hey, hey. My arms don't work, but I got a lot of spirit. <laughs> Jeff, man. I don't know. I don't think that's appropriate, Jeff. I know this young lady's parents. Yeah. I'm terribly sorry. Yeah, me too, actually. Um, well, uh, if you don't want to do an awkward pause, and I, you, you certainly... I want to be an American. You don't want to be an American. Um, no, well, you, know, but you love do. America. I you love, love America. America. I, know. Like, I live in worry, America. Yeah. Um, mouth organ? Okay. Okay. Here you are. <clears throat> okay. I'm nervous about this because I'm not. I, don't, I can't do this. Oh, I bet you can. <laughs> Just how creepy am I right now, Jack? Terry! Yeah. Oh, come Terry! on! It was a joke! It was a joke! It's even more awkward than the awkward pause! Yes! Exactly! I told you, take the awkward pause. It is actually, paradoxically <laughs> and ironically, not yes, that awkward. awkward! Okay, yes, and. Right. Yes, and get the mouth come organ inside. and start blowing. <laughs> see you again. You are indeed a shimmering beacon of beauty this evening, may I say? <laughs> Thank you very you much. You look very, very nice. Buried alive? Yes, buried alive. Yeah. Who would do that? <laughs> a very bad man, Craig. You wouldn't know anything about it. <laughs> I think you'd be surprised. <laughs> Although I wouldn't bury you alive. No, it's a horrific thing. It's about Poe, the film, and you know... Edgar Allan Poe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And in his stories, he had a very horrific imagination and he wrote um, as we know a telltale heart yes. and in that he chops a man up and buries him alive yeah yeah but you can hear the boom, 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 boom. actually he wouldn't be alive but yeah you can hear the heart exactly yeah 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 he was translated into the french by baudelaire i liked baudelaire That's you ever read great baudelaire fact. Yeah, yeah yeah no it's true mouth, yeah. baudelaire was crazy crazy alcoholic frenchman just the type of writer i like <laughs> Poe was a crazy alcoholic American. Yes, he was. That's true. Yeah. They never met, though, I don't think. No. Um, I think they were a little bit apart. Wasn't Baudelaire the 1850s? Yes, probably would. Ugh. Maybe Poe was dead. I feel such a fool now. Poe went to the White House drunk. Did he really? Yeah. He wasn't the first one. <laughs> You studied uh, literature at Oxford, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Did you study American literature? No. The course doesn't really have um, any French or American or foreign literature in it. So it's all just, things were terribly rummy and then something rather chipper happened. It's all... <laughs> the course is a bit too English. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Did you ever read any P.G. Woodhouse? I'm really into Woodhouse right now. Are you? I am. I don't know why. I've, I think it's Downton Abbey's got me onto it again. What do you... Oh, Downton Abbey. Yes. I, I, I've been... Do you watch Downton Abbey? Um, do you watch Downton Abbey? Do you watch Downton Abbey? Do you identify with downstairs people in Downton Abbey who are servants or upstairs who are rather terribly posh? Uh, I don't watch it, but I've been both upstairs and downstairs. Yes, that wasn't I know. Fair. What do you mean it wasn't fair? You did exactly. You did oh, mean that. The mugging. No, it wasn't I fair. I didn't. I didn't mug. I, I just did that. I've both, in fact, um, I've both done my laundry and dined at high table. But I hear that you have fifty quarters here. 
Oh, yes, $50 yes. Fifty dollars in quarters, quarters. Which would make it Oxford? 200 quarters. Okay, sorry. But what's fantastic about that is I do my laundry and I need quarters. You do your own laundry now? Do you go to the laundromat looking like that? That's what I mean. Because you could go to the laundromat dressed like that and someone, maybe me, would do your laundry for you. I'd be there. I'd be like, I'll do your laundry, miss. I don't go. I I'll, like... I'll fix your smalls. I'll get your particulars. I like it. I I'll, like that I'll put a bit of fabric over. softener in for I like you. That. <laughs> this is a terrible stereotype. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> no. All right. Well, do you uh, you want to go for the big cash prize already? Like, you come out here, you plug your movie and straight yeah, for the cash want, prize? I just came for you the You only money. came for the 50 bucks? I heard. I heard you stopped giving singles and you'd started giving quarters and I asked to come back. <laughs> you know, most places would, if you go into a 7-Eleven dressed like that, they'll make change for you. <laughs> yeah, you'd be all right. Change. Were you buried alive in that clip? Would they actually bury you alive? Yeah, they did. They put me in the coffin and they had, you know, machines, I can't remember, drills. Oh, yes. And, um, you know, they drilled around my head and put the lid on. And I took my first breath. Because I prepared myself mentally for being buried alive. And then I took my first... How do you do that? Just say to yourself, I'm going to be buried alive a okay. lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> and then eventually you become familiar with the idea and, and you sort of go through with it. Is it kind of a yoga thing? <laughs> I, I don't love yoga, but it is um, a mantra type thing. Okay, okay. Anyway, I took my first breath. Mm. And just to calm myself. And all the oxygen went out of the coffin. So when I went for my second breath, there wasn't any left. There was just carbon dioxide. Holy crackers. I know, that's what I did. And then I wept. And then they sort of opened the lid and they were like, what's wrong? And I was like, I can't breathe in here. And, um, and then I sipped the air. And then we did it again and they filmed it. So they, they weren't filming the first time? <laughs> <laughs> like they just got, well, we'll just bury you alive a bit in practice. <laughs> Complete waste of burying a lifetime. <laughs> you want to film it just in case it goes wrong, you know. Then at least you have the take. Yes, then at least you have the take. Mm. You should speak to them. I should. Is it Cusack I have to talk to? <laughs> no, he's not the director. He's an actor. How does it work? I thought the actor did that. The, no, act no? the actor's in the movie, oh. and then there's a director, James McTeague, who makes McTeague. every. McTeague. <laughs> yeah, McTeague. My sworn enemy, McTeague. <laughs> <laughs> he's an Australian. He's an Australian? <laughs> I knew that. Hey, we're out of time. Uh, yeah, look, I got distracted. Like you wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, cash, cash prize? Let's do that. What time is it, Shadow Steven? It's time for the big cash prize. All right. $50 in American quarters. All you have to do is either answer a question or guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. Uh, if you guess correctly, you win the $50. If you don't, you uh, something awful will happen. Is the box in your head a coffin? Well, it, hold on. Why? Is that what you want? Box in the head? You want a box in... You want... No, I don't want you to box me in the head. I said, is that what you, Do you want the question or box in my head? Why just already did that? Is the box in your head a coffin? Well, you don't guess what the box in my head is. You guess what's in the box in my head. Me! seen you in that an age. How have you been? I've been very well. You look very nice. Thank you. Gorgeous, in I fact. I match the carpet and the mug. Well, uh, no, you look better than all that stuff. You look great. And the donkey. That's not a donkey. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's, a ho it's a horse, it's partially. Not, it's not a horse, though, is it, Craig? No, it's not a real horse. No. <laughs> It's a pretend horse. Donkey face. Just like this is a pretend show. This has all been put together so I could meet you because we're meant to be together. <laughs> Very 
Star You're in Star Trek. Trek now, which means you'll be followed by a lot of people who will say that to you. We were meant to be together, Alice. <laughs> Look, there you are. There it is. Yeah, that's, you're in that's it. That's actually not me, yeah. That's, no, that, that's not you? No, that's... I thought that was you. <laughs> Are you sure? Oui. Oui, bien sûr. Ah, fantastic. Ce n'est pas moi. See? We were a bit worried, Alice, because you've always been such a lovely guest in the show. We were a bit worried that now you've become this enormous international megastar that you would have changed in some way. But I gave you the bell test. Monsieur. And? Ferguson. Yeah, you passed. You see, you continue <laughs> to honour the show. The I French have to say, that's a very distracting dress. Sorry. It's all right. Actually, the dress is fine. It's, it's, I'm just having a very hard time. Is that a tattoo? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a lot of them, yeah. Do you have any, I've got a lot of tattoos. This goes all the way up round and whoa. You, yeah. <laughs> go on, follow the snake. <laughs> go on, Alice, down there, go what on. What are you going to do? As a member of the non-tattooed community, I find tattoos fascinating. Really? Yeah. Are you interested in getting one? No. Really? Why? Why do you hate America? <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are very uh, closely linked to America. A lot of Americans no. have them. I don't dislike them. I just don't know if I want one on myself. No, you probably... You, I mean, you're pretty good as you are, I have to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I just would regret it, I think. Well, regret's part of life. I it is, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Je ne regrette... Je ne regrette rien. There you go. No. Can I just ask you something? The next yeah. time you want the bell, just ask I'll bring it over. Don't lean over the desk. Because... <laughs> I'm not... Don't get mad at me. I'm not trying to... I'm just saying that... I think it takes more than that to make me mad. But let's try it again and see if you can sing. <laughs> not need, as easy as it, it looks, no. is it? <laughs> Turns out this is a skill. Yeah, you can't have your fingers on it when you press that little bit in the middle. Yes, because the acoustics won't track. Right, so you have to just pop the button and move. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it got the robot going. Hey, listen, uh, where have you been? What have you been up to? Where have you been this summer? I've been everywhere this summer. I, we, we obviously Star Trek... Um... That's what I was saying. You must have been all around the world. Yes, we right? did. We went to Mexico, Russia, Berlin, which was phenomenal. I've never been to Berlin. I'd like to go to Berlin. Have you been? No. You should go. It's I great. know. I, I hear you're fluent in German. We. Oui. <laughs> um, Berlin. Where else did we go? Moscow was intense. It had the worst I've traffic. There. In four hours. Some people take four hours to get home from work. Really? In Moscow? Yeah, the traffic is unprecedented. I don't, I don't remember that. I just remember being a cold. It was very cold. And I, got a, and I had a fur hat. You bought one. They sell them on the street. They're sort of common, like sunglasses in Venice Beach. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, got to, you must have bought a fur hat, though, surely. No, because fur's dubious, isn't it? It's not real fur! Oh, no, fake fur. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy a real fur hat. I would just ask the animal to politely sit in my head until... <laughs> until such time as it had enough and it could move along. Of its own free will. So you don't wear fur, then? I don't know if animals have free will, do they? I think they do, do don't they? Do we even have free will? Oh, gosh, I knew you were going to take me here. All right, then. <laughs> I think so. I think there's such a thing as free will. But then again, I would think that if I had been predestined to think it, wouldn't I? Right. What do you think? Do you think we have free will? I think within the confines of our existence, we maybe have free will before we eventually die, which is sort of determined. I, I suppose there's moments. I think you, you sound to me like a Calvinist. Are you a Calvinist? No, I'm not. No, I'm not, because that's very Scottish. Well, Jean Covin was actually French, but... Uh, it, oui, yeah. bien sûr. Well, exactly. <laughs> I'm suspecting your French vocabulary is slightly <laughs> limited. <laughs> Limited. I stopped at 16. Right. Forgive me. I learned. No, I, anything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, no, not Calvinist. Um, I, I wonder about free will. You know, I, I wonder about it. I don't know. I don't know either. Hmm. I mean, sort of. Well, but doesn't that prove in its own way that free will exists if you think about it? Yes, if you think about it, I suppose, if you question it. I mean, we have the choice to make tea in the morning or coffee, and I suppose that's free will. But I think it, it's limited. <laughs> In what way is it limited? <laughs> well, there are certain things you can't determine, can't, aren't there? 
Well, yeah, there's chance, right? Yeah, but that's chance. but that's chance. That's not in your will, though. Like your will, it, it, you you make choices. It's the the Kierkegaardian either or conundrum, right? That any decision you make will have a percentage of regret attached to it. Will I get a tattoo? Will I not get a tattoo? Perhaps eighty percent uh, of the regret of getting a tattoo you would experience, but perhaps eighty percent of not getting the tattoo is the regret. Do you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> So what tattoo <clears throat> should I get? I don't know if you should get a tattoo. No, I'm, I'm going to just... get one now after that. Well, I don't know. I mean, I just find in my life there are many things that I regret not doing. Not the things that I did do. That's I kind of, I think, oh well, I I probably shouldn't have done that. But ah, what are you gonna do? Rarely, and move on. You know? Yeah. Rarely do you regret an action. It's inaction. That you right. Do. In fact, I think the audience here ruse the day when they came to this. <laughs> <laughs> have, you ever rude, have you ever rude a day in particular, any day in particular? Not a day that has been something, as you say, part of my free will or, or something that I've had a part in deciding. The days that I rue are the days that, you know, bad things happen that were out of my control. Right, but that's not a, that's not a, a factor in whether there's free will or not. That's the no, universe exactly. and the that's chance the that exists within it. the universe chance that you're outside of, right. outside of you. So, no, you're right. Free will does exist because otherwise, yes. You're so, we, we agree then. <laughs> No, I think, I think you're right. I think we agree that free will exists. I think we agree that free will exists. Well, enjoy the product. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So purposely made the work difficult to read. And... Excuse me, <laughs> aren't there any more commercials you could play? <laughs> you never seem shy about clothes. Oh, fine. <laughs> D'accord. <laughs> Good one. Yes, thank you. So, you went, where else did you go in your travels with Star Trek? Did you go to... Japan. Japan? Went did you to... meet um, uh, Penguin Z when you were in Japan? No, who's Penguin Z? I'm... Someone I'm... that wrote to me from Japan. Oh. I think it's a nickname, though. <laughs> No, I, I didn't meet Penguin Z. We went to Kyoto, which is uh, the old city where everybody still... Ha there's geisha houses and people sort of dress up in traditional costume. We dressed nice. up in traditional costume. Did you dress as a geisha? Yeah, it was incredible. You have ah. to walk, like... Because it's very tight and, and very constructed and the shoes are su such that you have to walk in a very small step, like a catwalk model, I suppose, walks now, but right. in a very small... So it was, uh, it was interesting experience. Yeah, it was fantastic for me right there when you were explaining <laughs> It was. I'm just being honest. <laughs> Not in any way being creepy, or maybe a little bit. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time, as it turns out. <laughs> we're fine. We can go as long as you like. <laughs> That's an improv game, isn't it? Where you press the bell, and then you have to go... We've played an improv game before. We've done this before. Really? Did we? What did we do? We did the don't say no thing. Oh, yeah. That's the, the rule of improv. But that's boring, because we've done it, so let's not do it again. Yes. <laughs> what else can we do? No, we're here? out of time. That's what, so oh, we, oh. here's your options, then. You can okay. have awkward pause. OK. Uh, fake argument. Yeah. Or uh, uh, twerk with the horse. Well, I'm not going to twerk with the horse. Are you sure? Yes. Because I think everyone would really like that. OK. <laughs> no, no. That, see, you ruined it there. You ruined it. You scared her. I, I, I will take this opportunity to exercise my free will. Ah, good I, for you. I will not twerk with the horse. Good. Because there's an 80% chance. Hey, hey, hey. You're not at the prices, right? Shut up. <laughs> there's an 80% chance that I will, in fact, regret it. Right. So, let's have a fake argument. No. Why not? Because you come here looking like this and expect me to concentrate. That's why. <laughs> I can't believe you would shout at a lady. Is this how you argue? <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe that you would raise your voice. This, this so isn't arguing. This is, this is passive aggressive. No, this is this not, isn't an argument at all. Most communication that happens in the 21st century is passive aggressive. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that's my, that, that's <laughs> my turn. <laughs> Oh, that's good. You won that. Oh, oh see, no, yes. Oh, one more time. Oh, no, that's my trick. I turn to my person that supports me who isn't there, and, I, and they agree with me. So when you right. say something, I look at them and go, 
<laughs> and then I win because two against one, and it's America and democracy. You didn't win. I didn't win. No, you didn't win. You, I, I'm not interested in winning an argument. With Are we you. still having the fake argument? Maybe I don't know. I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> I think it's real now. Okay, you can win then. Oh boy. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Else. <laughs> Holy crackers. Oh, man. Alice Eve, everybody. Alice Eve. Well, Alice, you look lovely. Thank you. I'm ushering in spring. Well, it certainly arrived just in time for your lovely floral garden thing. <laughs> you look nice. It's, it's Boys don't like these kind of dresses, but girls do. The boys like them fine. Well, it's the flowers are very pretty, Chris. Yes, they are, and they're lovely, and they're, all the squiggles are nice, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're wearing it. Most of the time, I can't concentrate when you're out here. Everything's great. It's all contained. <laughs> Lovely. This film looks a bit scary. I know. You looked very scared in your acting that you did. That wasn't acting. That was genuine scared. Oh, that was hamming. I, how dare you? Ha Do it again. You, you looked like you were sort of coming out of a pool of water and <laughs> gasping for air. Like a little tadpole. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> Do you have a good time making this movie? Do you come here often? All the time, I work here. <laughs> How about you? I'm just new in town, actually. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> you don't talk like this. No. I sound a bit like Mo Sislak from Pakistan. <laughs> or Larry King. Hey, um, what accent is Brian doing in that, in that movie? He's doing Russian. Ah, I thought that's what it was. <laughs> Good. Ukrainian, perhaps? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening in the movie then. Does he, uh, like, he goes nuts and breaks the joint up? Well, no, he tries, but I play quite a tough cookie, so uh, I hold my own against him. Do you, uh, do you do it in American or English? Yeah, I do it in American, and I had to speak in American the whole time I was there. How did it go? Well, I wasn't allowed to speak in English ever at all, even to my parents or my brothers or my friends, so I lost all my brothers and my friends and my parents. And uh, I... Do they all hate America? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> all of your brothers and friends and parents hate the United States they of America. They wouldn't call me anymore because I'd sort of answer the phone and be like, hey, how you doing? And they were like, what's wrong with you? Why are you an American? Yeah, do the American accent again. I liked it. Hey, how you doing? That's very good. <laughs> I don't know why I go an octave lower to do that. Let's do it again. Hey, how are you? Um, what's up, Mom? Why are you talking like that, darling? What, what, is, it, what is it that you're talking like that for, darling? Um, I'm just sitting next. <laughs> I... <laughs> Could we have a call? Sure. Be careful, though. It, it sometimes... I wonder if it will ring. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I wonder who it is. You have to answer it, then. Well, hi, Mom. Oh, hello, Alice, darling. Why are you talking like that? Because there's this bossy man here who makes me talk in this accent the whole time that I'm on this stage with this horse and this man. I don't talk to me. Wait, hold on. Let me talk to your mother. <laughs> Mrs. Eve, I'm outraged that you would even think such a thing. Plus the fact I also met you before, years ago. Do you remember? <laughs> yes, of course I remember, yes. I met you and your lovely husband at the Groucho Club. I'm sorry I was a bit drunk and was sick on your dress. <laughs> Oh, well, take that, Seth. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Come Bye. Bye. Yeah, good. Fuck off. I'm still here. All right. <laughs> That's that... about right. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done a big uh, root and toot and shoot? Oh, you did uh, <laughs> Star Trek, yeah. That made some money. Yeah, made a little bit of money. That was a good film. Yeah, J.J. Abrams. Yeah, he's clever, isn't he? He's very, very clever. Yeah, bastard. <laughs> you're clever too. Not so much. If I was clever, I'd have worked my way out of here by now. No, you're very clever. You channel it differently. You're a, a personality, and he's a, you know, artist. filmmaker. Yeah, artist. But this is an art form, isn't it? 
I... <laughs> I think it is. It's is not it? easy. You're good at it. See, I don't, I don't know that that means it's an art form. I think it's more just... A, a skill. Con it's a convention, I think. The late night show is a convention. You've been on the other ones, haven't you? Yeah. Well, you know the what best. they're like. They're, they're, oh, they're, I, I totally agree. This is the best one, hands down. But the... Uh, <laughs> Do you know, I have to say, I'm just looking at Brian uh, on the cover of this thing. He, he looks very frightening. He and... turned it around. What? There we go. <laughs> That's Brian looking frightening. He was quite frightening. He was quite a strong dude as well, like when he had to do stuff and he, was, he had a firm grip. But it worked for the story. Well, he's, uh, he was uh, Malcolm's dad and Malcolm in the middle. <laughs> No, and then Breaking Bad. Yeah, Breaking Bad. Yeah, Breaking... Did you watch that? I did. I had to stop watching it when I was working with him, though, because it would have been a bit, you know, a conflict of interest. It's a great show. It's That's a great a really show. really good show, and he looks good in underpants. Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> he takes care of himself. He runs a lot. We does ran. He? We'd run together. Do you run? Every now and then. Only with Brian Cranston? Only with Brian. Only if Brian's down there in the gym sweating. <laughs> Jeff? I like the way you talk, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeff. Like that dress, it's got like lattice work on it. <laughs> I knew this dress would take some. Work that lattice, Alice. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit left out. No, sorry, actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Anyway, it's commercial break time, Alice. Okay, bye. No, no, no. <laughs> We're back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Alice Eve, uh, who's in this very good film, Call, Call Comes the Night. Very good. That was very good. Is that music in your film? No, but um, thank God. <laughs> hey, uh, what music do you like? I've never asked you. Oh, do you enjoy it? That's a really good question. Is it? Well, then I'm you never know... asking it again. Okay. Do you know who I bought? Okay, first of all, I like the XX. That's the band that I think is the most you, interesting band. You bet, music. yes. Um... Okay, okay. A lot Easy of bands, with a Jamie. And then I also just bought this band on recommendation of my friend called. The... Oh, no, he's not a band. He's a, a. I guess he's an R&B artist, which I think is coming back. Um, Has it been away? Well, in the 90s, it was so good, you know, yes. with a liar and all the... A lot of female R&B artists in the 90s, but I think it's coming back, and this guy, The Weeknd, is really good. I, I, so I just listened to his album. All right. Well, hey, they, they, just don't applaud just because she likes music. Lots of people like music. No, that guy liked The Weeknd in red. Yes, OK. Yeah, you, yeah. I, I think he might be just trying to get your attention. He got it. <laughs> I, I like whatever you like, Alice! You got a pretty mouth! <laughs> Yeah. But I think that the, the Lord Among Men, when it comes to music, is George Harrison. Oh, yes, my goodness. Lovely George, God rest him. He was lovely. If you don't know where you're going, Craig, any road will take you there. Yeah, it's a bit advanced for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you, everybody. We were right. You know what, buddy? What's that, pal? I'm getting too old for it. Ay, caramba! No, oh, come on. I don't like to hear talk like that. You're meant to say yes and. You know what, Craig? What? I think tonight's show was a frank attempt at deconstructing the yes and method. And what a pile of... I think this... It is. <laughs> you saying we sometimes know what we're doing? Because we're professionals, damn it. That's right. High five. Thank <laughs> you.